case managers play a critical role in communities across the state, but because of state budget cuts, many have lost their jobs. The consequences of these targeted case management budget cuts are proving to be devastating. MTN's Augusta McDonald brings us this story in our continuing series, Cuts and Consequences. State budget cuts throughout 2017 effectively dismantled the community-based mental health care system in Montana. Cuts to the tune of almost $6 million eliminated targeted case management funding for adults living with severe disabling mental illnesses. Case managers work to support this population to keep them living in the community. Now, clients are left in a lurch with few appropriate options for their care. Western Montana Mental Health Center laid off 16 case managers in Missoula at the end of 2017 because of funding losses. Those case managers predicted what would happen next. In December, former Western Montana mental health case worker Lisa Leone told MTN News she was already receiving calls from clients panicked about losing their support system. I had a client who, because of this news, did attempt to, to, to kill himself. Um, wasn't successful, but that's just the beginning. You know, I don't know how many more. I've got people going into crisis, people calling me up, freaking out. How am I going to get to the doctor? How am I going to get to this? How am I? Next month I have, you know, cataract surgery. I can't, you know, I don't know who's going to do that. I don't know what to tell them. Almost immediately, some of the clients on their caseloads began to fall apart without case management support and ended up being ordered into mental health treatment by the court system. If you take away someone's crutches, they're going to fall. Case management is their crutches. These people fell. You know, and it's costing the state. Why involuntary commitments up is because there's not case managers there to, to field the call when somebody's going into crisis, you know, and then police get called and then someone gets put in into an involuntary position. Agencies and organizations are absorbing the cost. The Missoula County Attorney's Office is filing an increasing number of petitions in 2018 due to the loss of case managers. If a person with a serious mental illness is not able to meet their basic needs of housing, clothing, um, health, safety, or they are an imminent threat to themselves or others, they're suicidal or homicidal, and that gets reported, then our office will file a petition to put them into inpatient treatment involuntarily if they're not willing to go. She says police officers, family members, even landlords might bring them into an emergency room for an evaluation if they've committed a crime, are unable to maintain their homes, or they're showing other symptoms of a mental illness. Compared to the same four-month time frame in 2015, 16, and 17, there are already almost 20 more cases than usual. In 2015, there were 74 petitions. In 2016, 69. And in 2017, 78 petitions. Just this year so far, there are 98 petitions for involuntary commitment filed by the Missoula County Attorney's Office. Not only are the number of these commitments increasing, but Kilby says people are coming across their caseload in worse condition than usual. It's called decompensating, where people living with these severe types of mental illness stop taking care of themselves and become a danger to themselves or others. Over the past three months I have just felt like people were, um, had decompensated to a point where they couldn't function in the community or in the community beds and so we were having to send more people to the state hospital where before um, people hadn't decompensated quite that much by the time they came into our system. Western Montana Mental Health Center staff say the state is going to have to deal with the cost of more people needing higher levels of care. Putting people into a higher level of care, either the Montana State Hospital System or the detention facilities, facilities is much more expensive. So it's going to cost the state much more in the long run than people living individually in their communities. It's better care for them, it's less expensive for the state, so it's really not a proactive way of looking at mental health treatment. In Missoula, Augusta McDonnell, MTN News. Western Montana Mental Health Care has reworked some of its programs to help support people who lost their case managers or are in need of care.